welcome to the new moon circle in Sambath. Today is the 2nd of March. This is Melissa. Thank you for saying yes to being in this space for you to receive. The new moon typically is a time, also known as the dark moon, but typically it's a time for you to set intentions. It's a time for new beginnings. If you imagine a seed planted in the earth is in darkness, anything that is beginning life begins in darkness. We began in darkness in our mother's womb. This is the space of magic. This is the space of creation. And as we come together in the new moon and the dark moon, we take full advantage of the magic of the universe to set intentions for new beginnings. So I invite you today as you relax and surrender into my words, that you hold in your heart the space for anything new that you have been desiring to come through. If you should so feel called to grab a pen, maybe you have a journal, you may want to jot down what comes to your mind. Or perhaps the greater invitation is just to allow these ideas and your desires to rise up. Rise up in your mind so that you can witness them and observe them. But more importantly, to notice how these new ideas, these new beginnings, these wishes, these hopes, these dreams that you hold, how do they feel in your body? Remembering always that your body is a safe space. The magic of this body that you embody every single day. This invitation today of new beginnings is, is to return to the power of our bodies, to return to the power that we hold within us to create new realities. During this new moon, as you surrender into the moment, hold space for that which you have been dreaming to create, that you have not yet done. The 2nd of March, the new moon of March. Let's set these intentions together. Let's hold the space for these new ideas as you connect also with the desire, the burning desire in your body that will be the rocket fuel to materialize your dreams, to materialize these new beginnings. Hold space also for other feelings. Hold space for other thoughts. Maybe you have thoughts of, oh, that's silly, that's ridiculous, that's too big, that's impossible, it's too hard, it's too late, I'm too old, I'm too young, I'm not experienced enough, I don't know enough. Hold space for all these ideas to flood in and flood through. You hold the space for pure potentiality. It is within your power to focus on the potential you wish to see into reality. Connecting with that desire, your desire is your impulse, the impulse for growth and evolution, that which is going to transform your inspiration into reality. Breathing in all that is new, exhaling all that is old. Holding space for all thoughts and feelings, even the ones that make us feel uncomfortable. They all hold wisdom. The greatest wisdom is in the acceptance of these thoughts.
remembering always that these desires and dreams that you have are unique to you even when they look similar to other dreams and ideas. There is only one of you who exists in this world. So the expression of these ideas and the dreams that come through you are like no other. The vibration of your voice, the vibration of your being, you being the vessel for these messages is unique. Your greatest purpose is to see through these ideas that are coming through you. Your greatest purpose is to be you. You are the one, the one to deliver the wisdom of your experiences of life. So if you need to give yourself permission to try new things, then let today be the day that you set the intention to try these new things, these messages that are coming through you that only you can deliver. This is your space. This is your time. Your time is now. So for those of you who are still coming in or in setting intentions today in this new moon, holding space for all the thoughts that are coming through, holding space for our desires and our feelings. With no attachment, we're observing. And through this space of awareness and observation, we get to choose what serves me, what is aligned for me, what feels good. How do I want to feel in my life? And focus on that today. New intentions, new beginnings. And when we meet with struggles, when we meet with thoughts and feelings that feel uncomfortable, it's only because we have an expectation for things to be different. Can we surrender into the moment and know that we're always guided, that there is a force and an infinite intelligence that is organizing life for you? And that is pure consciousness. Where you focus your attention energizes your intention. So hold that intention for your new beginning. Connect with your desire to see this happen. And allow your attention to energize your intention. Attention you hold is for the future. The attention that you give it is in the present. Your present becomes your future, and your future becomes your present. The micro and the macro, that which exists within you, is what you see around you. If you see a world that you are frustrated with, that you're irritated by, that is limited, it is a reflection of how you feel within yourself. How do we shift from this space? We shift from this space first by acknowledging how we feel, acknowledging our thoughts, pouring love into these vulnerable feelings of insecurity, not enoughness. The vulnerable space that speaks of our truth. Because our vulnerability shows us our deepest strength. It shows us that maybe what we need is rest, or perhaps what we need is support. Maybe what we need is to reach to community. Maybe what we need is to do less and be more. 
as you've chosen today to be here to receive. To receive the wisdom of you in stillness, in your beingness, the pure consciousness you are to witness the power that is within you that only you have. So allow these words, allow for the intention behind these words to pour into you, to flow within you, are the one, the light of the universe, you bring hope when there's none. Bring
I'm going to transition into a Sanskrit mantra. This is not religious, it's mantra, it's calling in. It's speaking to an energy. It's been repeated for centuries. It's Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu. And it's a blessing. It's a blessing with a translation that speaks to a message similar to this. There's no direct translation of Sanskrit to English. So the interpretation would be, especially in the times that we are living in right now, dear friends, some of us may be feeling vulnerable, maybe even afraid. Maybe we're feeling grief, sadness, helplessness, that we want to do more to give and to support so many people in the world right now who are living in fear, living in war, living in separation and isolation and desolation. And so we send this out with the Sanskrit blessing. And we say, may all beings everywhere be happy and free. We pray for this in the future, but we call it in in the present. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. And may the thoughts, words, and actions of my own life contribute in some way to that happiness and to that freedom for all. This Sanskrit prayer or blessing has been used for many centuries. Its intention is to invoke greater states of compassion and peace. And as we embody compassion and peace within us by receiving these mantras, we can send out this vibration to whoever in the world needs this right now. Even if for a glimmer of a moment, even for if in, in a in a breath, in an inhale, for a moment, this pe these people can feel some level of peace. And we have done our part. May all beings everywhere be happy and free, and may the thoughts, words, and actions of my own life contribute in some way to that happiness and to that freedom for all. The impact of this mantra is far grander than any act of human kindness. We come together today to hold this space of intention in the new moon, to connect with the power within us to create new beginnings. And we send the power of this mantra out to every, anybody who needs it right now.
Wherever you are, taking these moments to really receive
the nourishing sounds of the universe, receive the magic and the wisdom that is within you, receive the medicine from mantra and music, receive the medicine from collaboration and from community, receive the love within you, Thank you so much for choosing to be here tonight and giving me the opportunity to share the medicine of mantra and music with you and mindfulness. You are a gift to this world, exactly as you are, nowhere to go, nothing to do. Exactly as you are, you are this gift, this gift of true love, you are the one. Please, tonight, Wherever you are in the world, and for those of you who are listening, we'll listen back later. Drink lots of water. If you have, if you find your mind busy with thoughts, just journal them. Be the gift. Be the gift you need. Hold the space for whatever comes up, whatever shows up. It's there to serve you always. Thank you again. With deep gratitude and irreverence and devotion. Thank you, everybody.